Hey, I hope you guys can hear me on this one. Listen, sometimes you get called to really tricky stuff. I'm doing this for a big landscaping company. They're great guys. They bring in the plywood. They bring everything. But this job, it was just tricky to get in. And, and, and uproots could happen anywhere. You know? The truth is, they were warned about these trees being in bad shape. And um, sometimes owners think, like, oh, well, okay, you know, we'll get it done, we'll get it done. And stuff happens. So, let me show you a little quick flip around. My son here is grinding. There's actually one, two, three uproots. One went back straight. This hole was a fence line here. Five or fence. And the whole thing collapsed. They're building a brand new pool here. That, and I couldn't get back here because all the, the pool guys are putting down flagstone. So the landscaping company lays plywood out for me to drive over to get back here to this. And these are all things I don't do. Uh, I mean, yes, if you're a new guy, that, you know you may have to keep stocking some plywood. But I'm not going to do it. I'm a subcontractor. So if you want me to do stuff, I'm different. I demand you guys bring it. These guys are pros. These guys have the stuff. We got a big picture from out here. They brought out a plywood. They stood it up against the neighbor's garage. They stood it up so the pool won't get nothing. And I'll, I'll grind these out. They'll dig it out. And then we'll go on. We got uh, like eight jobs ahead of us today. The weather sucks. It looks like it's going to try to rain, but they can do what you got to do. All right, so this is just a short and I'll incorporate this into another video so we'll have fun. God bless you. Just want to let you know from the other side, another view. See, he's having to grind uproots. This is an uproot. He's ripped out of the ground. There's another one. He went back to the ground. But they grind really easy when you come at them from the side. Alright, because when you come around the side, you're busting up basically easy to work. Called back in the hole. That other one you saw a few weeks ago, there it is. That's all I saw. It's in the hole. Alright, so continue on. I'll show you a quick little deal of what it looks like. We just discovered something else over there. I'm going to do that. I'm not going to watch the ground guys. It's kind of out there. It's just like this. Hey, it's Mother's Day's weekend, you know, so I'm not supposed to be working. Boy, I really wish I was in the shop, but that's a different story. Um, before I uh, end this video, i got to say thank you and give you some more information on what you just watched. Um, this was sent to me by a gentleman named Mike Brewer. He owns a stump grinding company called Find It and Grind It. Pretty neat name, I'll tell you the truth. And he sent me one of those insulated uh, mugs or cups with uh, my Stump Grinding Mafia and Mustang Rebuilder on it. And I'm not uh, going to take it in my truck and I'm not going to mess it up. I'm going to take this, put it in my shop, try to keep my hands as clean as I can. You know, come in handy this summer because it'll keep my, it's supposed to be water, real cold for me. So thanks again, Mike Brewer. I really appreciate you sending it out. And, and you know, makes, you make uh, people like you and yourself and all the other ones that send me comments and emails. It, it makes it my time that it takes to make these videos. It makes it all worth it. All right, I'm not making, you know, really jack on any of this stuff. Uh, the stickers I give away, there's a new thing on YouTube that'll help me. If you want one of those, hold on. I've got quite a few of them left. The Mustang, the, excuse me, the Stump Grinding Mafia stickers. If you want one, there's supposed to be a new deal on the YouTube just sent it to me to where it's called Super Comment, I think it is. And basically, you make a comment and it costs some money. Um, I'll make another video about it, but there's one that's a button for, uh, this button for $2, $5 or whatever. You know what, if you press the $2 one and you pay $2, I'll, I'll mail you one of those. Okay, I'm, it's just supposed to be to help us YouTube creators 
you know, promote us or whatever, but uh, YouTube gets a cut of that money. So, you know, I've been sending out those stickers that cost me, but I didn't care. You know, it's just my way of giving back. So if you really want one of those stickers, look for that deal and hell, I'll look for it too. So if you really want one, it's two bucks for one. Enough of that. Uh, I'll still have the contest thing every week to where you, you know, the, you make a comment. I read, uh, at the end of the week, I, the computer picks which comment it was, and then I contact you through the comment deal, and you send me an email with your address and stuff, and I mail it to you. So, anyway, back to this video. On that job, I tried to explain on the beginning of it. The tree company had warned the homeowner that that tree would fail. They said they would think about it. A storm came, that tree failed, but not only did it fail, it took two other trees with it and ripped out the power lines which were running across the back. Then the power line company had to call another company out that specializes in craning. And they craned that tree out from behind, the neighborhood behind. They did a great job. And they left, you could see in that video, you see that last cut? They stopped because, you know, the chainsaw, would have, it was sunk in the mud and dirt at that time. So they made that last cut and didn't take the log away or whatever. I knew that when we were grinding, it would move and shake, and a lot of the dirt would fall away from it, and then the landscaping backslash tree company can make the final cut and take that big piece of log away. Or we'll just, we, we ground most of it anyway. But the deal about this whole thing was my son found it that it, it dad, this is grinding different. And it was his first uproot that he ground. So when he's grinding, it's peeling like a banana would peel. All right? It's not making little chips. It's making smoother. The machines, even if, if you listen, you'll hear on, on, on when he's approaching different angles, like the last part of the video, it's just a smooth, buttery cut. All right? That's because he's grinding at the side of the tree. I tried to explain to different people I write me and stuff to where they ask me, why is it when you get to the center of a tree, your chips seem to be looking different? That's the pith. It's called the center of a tree. It's called the pith. All right? And then you're fighting different directional cuts. It's almost if you're a woodworker. It's if you're cutting through a knot, you'll know on a table saw at all, you'll hear the difference cutting through a knot. You're, 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 you're not cutting a, a one-directional grain. You're cutting a multi-directional grain. Let's, let's keep the science out of it, but simple. But, you know, you'll know certain trees, when you get the very center of it, will grind different. Some of them will tear. It won't be a nice little chip or a nice smoother chip. It'll be uh, an impounded gr uh, cutting action, all right? Uh, enough of that. So an uproot, you attack them from the side, and then, if you can, a little bit from the back. And then, I try every now and then, you can go from the front, too, to grind some. It will grind different. Each position you grind and uproot will grind differently. But to some aside, it's pretty damn easy. So, uh, with that, you saw the video. Don't be afraid. I've done uproots that are 15 feet tall. And they fall right back. in Because you get there and you see it. This was different, it was confined, but a normal big uproot, you'll look at this gigantic hole behind it. There's a lot of stump grinding guys that will walk away, so God, or say, oh God, I'm gonna need a backhoe, or you know, the homeowner thinks, even a tree company, a lot of tree companies, I'll need a backhoe, we'll have to bring in dirt, and all. I'm like, no, can you please you leave them alone? Let me do the job. You know, sometimes you grind them and they, they come back up, they fall in the hole, a lot of times when I grind them, all that dirt, rock, all that stuff falls back in the hole. Okay? So, don't be afraid. Hold on a second. So, I'm sorry I got interrupted, but I'll just tell you this. Don't be afraid of it. Just look. I have some past videos of grinding uproot. And my son learned something new. And I'm sorry because sometimes I think... You know, I've done this so long, some things that come natural to me is new to you, all right? So if you got a question and you don't want to post it anywhere, send me an email. My email is listed in the description. I'll be more than happy to answer it to you. And don't ever be embarrassed by a question. You know what a stupid question is? Not asking your question. That's the stupid guy, 
okay? So, enough of that. Enjoy Mother's Day. Take care of the wife. Take care of the girlfriend. You know, this is a big day for them. For us, you know, Father's Day, we're cooking on Father's Day or we're barbecuing or whatever. We don't get to do what we want to do. But forget about that. Enjoy your family. God bless you.